some couple of little housekeeping things. You are um, muted right now. If you have any questions, please use the chat plane on your control panel so that we can um, get your questions answered at the end, and we'll hold off at the end and have um, Chris do a Q&A for you guys. So I'll pass it off to you, Chris. Thanks. Okay, cool. Thanks, Caroline. Thanks, everybody, for joining us for today's webinar. Uh, today, we're going to focus on our e-commerce integrations. Uh, so modern distributors face challenges of filling orders from multiple sales channels today. Uh, when with that, there's an increased demand for a quick turnaround and access to information regarding the order status. Uh, online marketplaces, shopping carts, phone orders, EDI from your larger trading partners, um, orders coming at you from all directions. Uh, each of these have their own unique complexities and methods of getting the products out the door. Starship can help alleviate your headaches by harnessing all these sources and tools into a single application. So today we're going to focus on our e-commerce modules and show you how Starship can improve the shipping process for these types of orders. So we currently offer modules for marketplaces such as Amazon, eBay, and Etsy. Uh, plugins for shopping carts include 3D Cart, Big Commerce, Magento, Shopify, Volusion, and WooCommerce. We've also got uh, several other uh, modules in the pipeline, uh, starting with uh, Newegg, Walmart, and Sears for different online uh, marketplaces. We're also working on uh, cart integration to OpenCart, PrestaShop, XCart, and Squarespace Commerce. So stay tuned for more info on those in upcoming releases. Uh, the workflow with uh, Starship and e-commerce can really be done in two ways. Uh, Starship can connect directly to your e-commerce platform uh, to pull orders down from the marketplace or from the shopping cart. You can process those within Starship and then we'll write back directly to the shopping cart. Uh, what we find more customers doing today is connecting up all of their cart orders to their ERP. So we're able to pull all of your cart orders directly out of your ERP by just simply mapping a few uh, of the e-commerce order details uh, namely the platform that you're using, uh, the order number that you want to ship against, and the item number if the platform or cart supports uh, item fulfillment. So we'll show you that in just a little bit here. So what is the difference between Starship and some of the other e-commerce shipping solutions that are out there? Uh, with Starship, we combine the traditional ERP integration with the plugins for the various carts and marketplaces. This provides you with a central hub for all of your shipping activity. Starship also supports multiple carriers for both parcel and freight, so you're not locked into just one mode of transport regardless of where the order originates. We offer powerful business rules that can add logic to your shipping process. This helps to automate complex decisions on carrier selection, rate shopping, and how much freight to invoice. Printing and email conditions can make sure the right information is presented in the correct format based on who your audience is. We also offer integrations to warehouse management solutions for many of the popular ERPs we support. This offers pick pack scanning functionality and advanced order fulfillment options. Starship can also help automate your EDI orders by handing off all the packed container data to your EDI platform. Generating serialized container IDs, printing GS1128 labels, moves these tasks to the shipping process, eliminating the double entry into EDI solutions and your trading partner portals. Along with the e-commerce space, uh, we're finding that more and more customers are looking for alternatives to uh, UPS and FedEx. Uh, Starship has a module for the post office with Pitney Bowes that offers you some Great discounts, and you can see here from the slide that uh, there's quite a few of the uh, accessorials and surcharges that you're getting dinged on from UPS and FedEx. And uh, USPS could be a great uh, cost saving alternative. In the example here, uh, we have a teddy bear that we've sold online that's shipping from the East Coast to the West Coast. With the packaging material and the size of the box, it uh, weighs in at 20 ounces. You can take a look at the grid below and see that uh, you're saving between seven to eight dollars by shipping this package through the post office and using priority mail. 
uh, in the latest version of Starship in 1803, we've enabled uh, the post office rates so you can do a cost comparison uh, with the other services that you may be using. Uh, it doesn't require a purchase of the post office module, but you can do an analysis on uh, what you're shipping out and then uh, you know, basically see if you're leaving any money on the table. So you can see that right on the client side by side here with the other carrier services. And then you can also see that over historical date range in the dashboard so we can give you, um, you know, any potential savings that you may be losing out on by choosing to go with UPS or FedEx. So just something to consider, especially when you're shipping those um, packages that are under 20 pounds, um, essentially oversized, and you have uh, some great options there with the post office to consider. All right, so with Starship, uh, you go ahead and enter in the order number that you want to ship. Same as always. And Starship will go ahead and uh, pull that information right out of the ERP. So the key fields that we're looking for uh, to flag the fact that this is an e-commerce order are uh, mapped out of the ERP here. So we have the platform that we're shipping against. So we have a Shopify order and we're pulling in the order number here. We can also map over the item detail as well. Uh, so I can have my uh, cart part numbers brought over as well. The shipment's packed up, ready to go. If we want to do a cost comparison, we can click on the rate shop icon here. That'll cycle through all the various carriers that are available to you on Starship. And then you can make a decision based on how you want to route that. Starship can also automate that process for you by picking the carrier through ship via rules. So in this example, we can see there's plenty of options available to us. Uh, maybe we want to make the decision based on the transit time or the cost. You can also sort on those columns here. Uh, we can see here at UPS ground is what was originally selected on the sales order, but uh, FedEx ground could get it there potentially cheaper in the same amount of time or USPS and priority mail. So we'll go ahead and switch that up. And then I'll process our transaction. And Starship, you have F5 or ship and process that will complete your transaction. Move that onto the manifest. And at this time we're printing all of our documents. We're updating both the shopping cart and the ERP simultaneously. See a little preview here of our shipping label and a packing list. This is one of the many forms that you can get out of Starship. We've got multiple formats of these documents that can all be customized with branding and reference fields. Okay, so with that, we're gonna go ahead and check out our cart order and our GP order. Same as we always do, we're gonna put in the order detail here. Mark that as shipped, put in our freight, and then also our tracking information. And we'll take a look over here at our cart. Starship's gonna put in the detail from the shipment over here into the notes, and then also mark the order as fulfilled. We have a link here with the tracking, so anybody that logs back into their shopping cart order would be able to see the status of the shipments and have access to their tracking information right there. We can also go in and ship against the e-commerce orders directly, and that's always an option. All right, that just about covers what we had prepared to show everyone today 